Hi everybody, my name is Max Maker and this is me cutting thousands of little silicone tubes for work. We use these as little bumpers that go onto uh, screws. So I couldn't buy this part, so I decided I'd just make them myself. Uh, so I 3D printed this guillotine with some blades inside and this worked quite well. It even has this little injector at the top, but it wasn't long enough, so I always had to do some manual cleanup. And that was a good solution at the start, but now we cut much more of these every week. So uh, I needed a better solution and also one that's versatile for different sized hoses. So I came up with this tube cutter. It's fully automatic. You turn on the power, select the length, and then you press run, and it just runs. The cutting unit is actually cutting and not just chopping like the guillotine was before. And the blade is just a regular Stanley knife, so you can easily replace it. And everything is driven by a standard uh, servo motor connected to an Arduino Nano. We can use different size um, hoses. This is the bigger one that we use. This is the smaller one. And here's a stepper motor. The stepper motor pushes uh, these gears along and these gears then transfer the power to the tube and push it along. And these idler wheels keep some pressure on here. And all these gears are just PLA on PLA. There are no bearings in here, just some oil. And it's really working super well. So now I can cut all kinds of sizes and lengths, uh, all kinds of diameters of tubes. This is the new tube uh, that I built this machine for. So this is uh, 12 millimeters in diameter uh, and you just push it through these idler wheels and then you turn it on and it's good to go. I designed this whole machine on my computer using Fusion 360. That's an easy to learn CAD software. And the beauty is that you can easily make changes and just print a new part. Here, for example, that's the gear train on the back. The little golden gear drives the bigger gear and that transfers the force to the front of the machine uh, where all the other gears are um, and they drive each other. So it's free wheel drive. Um, and I had to make a little bit of tweaks to this gearing because it wasn't powerful enough at the beginning, but now it works absolutely flawlessly. Uh, and the cool thing is these gears, they cost maybe a, a euro to print versus if I was to buy them made from steel or plastic, they're about 10 euros each. So, you know, that's 50 or 60 euros just for the gears. And when you buy gears, it's always difficult to attach them to some sort of shaft, whereas here the 3D printer just prints them all in one piece, uh, so you don't need to attach them. I made the cutting unit uh, modular so I can easily exchange some of the parts because I wasn't sure how they perform in reality. Uh, and they're also adjustable so you can move everything up and down, left and right. And here at the top I added the scale so you can check the actual size of them. Uh, and inside of this black box is also all of the electronics. So this thing now uh, keeps working for hours on end um, and I spent maybe one day designing this and then another two days printing. Uh, but now this can work for years hopefully. Um, and it's just working. So I hope you found this interesting, even though this is not something that everybody needs at home. But thanks for watching anyway. My name is Max Maker and I make all kinds of stuff.